Wow, praise the Lord. Um, thank you, Jesus. Uh, welcome to uh, our first, uh, first 2023 uh, partners. Uh, tithers and partners meet and greet. You know, I am so excited. You know, uh, we are, we are going to hear from some uh, key relation, uh, some of our key staffers that are on that are on uh, the line with me today. Uh, that I'm going to be introducing you very shortly. Uh, but I want to thank you and just uh, thank God for you. We are recording this uh, uh, this one because I would like my guys in post production to clean it up, clean it up, and um, put it out, put it up on the partners page on our website. Because so that partners who are coming and tithers can know exactly what we talked about today. Because today, what we are going to do is laying a, some foundational stones uh, in Francis Mouse International that have not existed before. And so we want uh, this to be a reference video uh, for posterity. So we are very, very um, excited to be doing this with you. So anyway, um, with a waving of your hands, I want you just to wave at me as I say, as a way of saying Happy New Year. Amen. Praise the Lord. Happy 2023 by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I prophesy that this will be your best year yet of restoration, deliverance, and redemption like never before. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So I'm very, very, very excited about this particular time of the God encounter the Lord is giving us. I'll continue to admit more people as they're coming in, but we've got to get this show started. Uh, praise the Lord, because uh, you came on time, and so we're not going to uh, punish you for those who are coming late. But I hope you enjoyed that amazing song by Mer Maverick, uh, Build Your Church. You know, that, you know, I mainly believe God is building his church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. Come on, somebody. I know you believe that. Praise the Lord. So I'm very excited. Um, so I'm just going to open up in a word of prayer. And then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to introduce some of my key staffers very quickly. There, and then later, just, just, just in a little bit after, the, after, uh, after uh, uh, two administrative things that I need to get done, I will, I will have them uh, talk to us before I give you the prophetic word for the year that the Lord is, that is burning in my heart like a fire. And I wanted my people to receive it. You, my people. <laughs> so I want you guys to receive this. But um, so I'm going to open up in a word of prayer and introduce some of our key staffers that are here today from Francis Mouse International. And then later they will tell you how best we are going to serve you in 2023 uh, and beyond. Because, you know, we, you guys have shown us that Francis Mouse International finally has a tribe as partners that can allow us to that can allow us to uh, do the bigger things, you know, the things that we used to dream about, pray about, are now possible, you know, because uh, uh, you guys are connecting at a very very powerful level, and so we thank God for that. Amen. So that is why we're excited about today. So let's just pray as we start. Heavenly Father, we thank you and I give you the praise and the glory. We honor you for such a powerful time of the God encounter and all that you're gonna do by the Holy Spirit in the mighty and glorious name of Yeshua, Jesus, the son of the living God, in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, for your... Uh, for your everlasting kindness, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And there's none like unto thee so majestic in holiness and so terrible in glorious deeds. Thank you, Father. Only you, Lord. And for this reason, we, give, we are careful to give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Because no one is more deserving of it than you, Lord Jesus. We thank you. He said, if I be lifted up, then shall I draw all men. Then shall I draw all men unto myself. Lord, help a Francis Mouse International not to, get, not to ever get caught up in itself, but in lifting Jesus so clearly 
that all nations will gather to him whose right it is to rule the nations with the rod of iron. We thank you and we give you the praise and the glory. Amen. I really believe that, uh, you know, this is going to be one of our greatest years in ministry, at least as FMI, and I know it's going to be for you because we are connected in a mighty uh, destiny God has put us together in. So I am very excited about that. And so I want just to share this. I have come to do your will, oh God, to fulfill what is written of me. What about you when you come before a just judge? How much breakthrough, deliverance can you get? Jesus will never come to the cross to die for your sin. He did it already. But he rose in his priestly garments as Melchizedek now. His number one assignment is to defend what he died for in the court. We break every chain. We break everything that the enemy has put upon our life. That we will be a people of honor like never before in Jesus' mighty name. The actual sign of Pentecost is the power of authorized utterance at a higher level where your words pierce the hearts of people and they can't shake the impression of what you created. When God is saying, no, I need you to wake up because you're walking in the wrong direction. And if you keep walking in this direction, you're headed for destruction. Everything that Jesus did when he came to this earth and now he's ascended back to the Father and he says, I've given you all authority, I've given you dominion, now begin to act like it. God wants you to know it's not by your might, it's not by your power, but your spirit is going to raise up in you and he's going to take you right through that mountain. No matter what's happened, my God is faithful. No matter what I feel, my God is going to come through. No matter what they say, my God is going to show up. No matter what I think, my God is on time. He's always been on time. He's never early. He's never late. My God is going to show up. Grace is the divine ability to be and do according to what God called you to. In other words, if God says, be holy as I am holy, grace enables you to be holy. That, uh, that meeting is there for you. You know, it is your meeting. Uh, it is us saying, amen. Yeah, it is us saying that this is it. You know, uh, we're going to be doing some amazing things. So um, I want to introduce my staff that are here. And then I'm going to do some, one, one more administrative thing. Uh, and then we are going to... Um, move on with what, what, what with their presentation so you guys, you know, and then uh, um, I'm going to have a, such a special word, and I hope you are also ready for the Holy Communion. We're going to do together our first one in 2023 at the end of this as well. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I want to uh, uh, first introduce our head of marketing that is over the uh in anything marketing uh with francis mouse uh current by the way i've made you i've made you a co-host so uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, later sharing with your presentation but i just want to spotlight and just have a say hello to you guys and then i'll move on to our social media the, to to, uh, to the the one manning social media and then to my personal assistant and then we, later was after my, my my administrative things i've got to do then uh karen will be the first one to talk to us 
about where we are going in as FMI in 2023 in helping save you better. So Karen, why don't you unmute yourself and talk to the people of God, introduce yourself to the people of God. Good morning. My name is Karen Hosey. Um, I am working as the Chief Operations Officer for Francis Miles Ministries, and it is an honor and a pleasure to see you this morning. Fantastic. We love you and we appreciate you, Karen. You know, amen. I cannot say enough about uh, the things that you have done for this ministry. You are definitely one of those people that uh, I can say is MVP. <laughs> <laughs> one of our MVPs of our ministry. Amen. And then um, uh, Karen recently hired an, uh, another amazing gentleman from New York. So if those who are in New York, you know, give a shout out to my man, Chris, he's going to, um, you know, I, I'm going to, he's going to say something to you. He's uh, over social media marketing of Francis Mouse International. You know, Chris, unmute yourself and the floor is yours. Just introduce yourself uh, to, the, to, to the people of God. Hi, thanks, Dr. Miles. And uh, hello, everybody out there. Um, I am uh, honored and, and uh, it's been a privilege to, to work for, uh, for Dr. Miles and for and for Karen and for the whole ministry uh, since October 31st uh, of this of last year actually, and uh, it's just a, it's a great team and I'm looking forward to what we can do this year. It's going to be uh, I, I'm 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 excited to dig in and and see what success we can make out of uh, this year and how we could reach out to to everybody out there and and bring a, bring everyone together in this crazy uh, crazy world. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Yeah, I know you have. Karen has already told told me you've got a presentation to make. You will make it shortly after Karen, you know. But uh, let me just go ahead and uh, introduce one more staffer. Amen. My personal assistant and my niece and personal assistant, uh, Katrina Rial. Amen. Uh, those who love uh, uh, Pastor Kamara, you know. You know, you better love Katrina or you'll be in big, big trouble with Camilla. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. How are you guys? Happy New Year. I'm very excited to see what the what we have going on this year, and I'm excited to be here. So, hello. <laughs> Fantastic. We love and appreciate you so much. You know, amen. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to uh, move on to another administrative issue right now. Amen. By the grace of God. I'm going to be um, I'm going to be um, pulling on um, one. I'm gonna say something, and then I'm going to I'm going to um, I'm going to give a, a allow a testimony to go forth because the testimony that I want to go forth that I want to go forth is gonna be important in terms of. Um, uh, what we are going to be announcing today uh, by the Spirit of God. Yeah, praise the Lord. Pastor Kamala is not able, maybe she might or she might not join us, but she's preaching. Girl has been preaching now. She's uh, <laughs> preaching at a women's conference in Covington, Tennessee, and I'm the one looking after the house that something is wrong with this picture, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> so, so you, you know, so, but but hopefully she might jump in at jump in at the last minute surprises. But they're having a powerful women's conference in Covington, Tennessee. Um, today we are going to be you're going to be hearing from my staff, particularly uh, Elder Karen, who is over much of the marketing and the partner relations uh, relations over Francis Miles International. You know, uh, but I'm going to mute somebody. Was on fire talking somewhere. All right. So um, yes, uh, she, we are. She's. We're going to be talking about the a, a, a partnership program for Francis Mouse International that is 2.0. It is 2.0 because it's really the partnership program that literally feeds the DNA, my DNA as Dr. Miles, and it fits the DNA of the people that are following me. You know, every ministry comes with, into a point where it realizes who its followers are. Once it realizes who its followers are, 
the adjustments that have to be made to make sure that our partnership program and the way we are serving you reflects the kind of followers we are attracting. And so that's why for me, I'm very excited about what uh, Karen and her team are going to be uh, announcing to us today. You know, but in order to move on into the new, we also have to, you know, bury some, art, some hatches from the old order. You know, when we uh, uh, first launched our partnership mini uh, program with Francis Mouse International, you know, I because we had never done it before, I uh, the only example I had at the time was that it was worth emulating, you know, was a dear friend of mine out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, called Bob Harrison. And we kind of, uh, some, you know, we kind of uh, adapted his, his partnership program for Francis Mouse International, which I am, uh, I am, I apologize to say was not fully followed to the letter of the law. So we kind of, I, we kind of dropped the ball, especially me, I kind of dropped the ball on some of the commitments that were being made by that partnership program. And then I began to ask the Lord, Lord, you know me, I'm a man of word. I want to, my man of my word, I want to keep this going. Why am I failing to, uh, my, uh, to, to honor all the, the, the infrastructure of the partnership we have up on the site. And the Lord began to speak to me. He says, that's because it is another man's armor. You know, he said it, it works for Bob Harrison, but you have not asked me for what works for you. A partnership built around your assignment, what the people I'm sending to you are looking for. And so we began to really feed us, he prayed through that. And I'm glad to announce today that we finally were able to, were able to come up with the partnership program that, you know, that we can honor every aspect of that commitment because it is, it is it's a perfect match with my DNA and also the current staffers we have in terms of keeping me on the ball so that we are able to consistently minister to you as partners and tithers on a level that's much, much, a little much higher than general people that are just bumping into, into me on YouTube or coming to a conference from time to time and then they move on. You know, you have chosen this ministry. You have chosen the man of God and the woman of God. You've chosen the messaging, you know. And so we want to make sure that we are there for you at another level. And, and so much so that your confidence will rise that you bring others who need this term, this term, this term type of ministry and attention from a ministry that truly really loves its tithers and partners in a very special way and does what it says it's gonna do in terms of our partnership program. So with that being said, I want to first speak, I, I had talked to one of our, um, I talked to one of our um, tithers and uh, partners, I believe from California yesterday who have an amazing testimony. And I just wanted them to, of what God has done for them ever since they, they discovered us on YouTube and then became tithers and partners. So I'm going to look for uh, Cecilia, uh, Kennedy and Jerry. Uh, I'm gonna look for you right now, see where you are so I can spotlight you. Now, remember what I told you yesterday, uh, before the interest of time, we only have five minutes for your testimony, but I know it's, you're gonna make it an amazing, Good five minutes. I see Cecilia. Let me see. <laughs> Give your hand. And put your put your, that that Cecilia. Put right that, here. That's it. I see you. I see you. Now. Okay. <laughs> Man, it's good to have a lot of partners. So we have to. You have to look for people. I love it. That's right. I love that's it. That's right. Good morning. God I bless love you. It. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna spotlight you, and in five minutes, I, I mean five minutes. Come on now. I want you to. Give us a, a testimony. Give us a quick testimony of how you found Francis Mouse International, and then what God has been doing in your lives because of the revelation of this ministry. The, you know, you had an amazing testimony. I know it's I, I, it's quite a lot because you, but that's good when you are God is blessing you so much. You you have to shorten the testimony. I like that, you know. But uh, I know you are capable of it. So Cecilia, Jerry, we love you uh, uh, all the way from California. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Amen. Go ahead and just uh, give your testimony uh, five minutes. So we came across you last um, June and started the Food Wars. So we went through the Food Wars boot camp 
uh, with you and, and we went through the courts of heaven. And so just in finding you, it opened us up on your YouTube page to all your teachings about the order of Melchizedek. And it's really transformed our business and everything else. Altars, we have an altar at home, an altar at the business. We're doing communion. <clears throat> and we've been walking with you ever since. And so uh, we get up in the morning. We have an early morning watch. Um, he gets up in the three o'clock hour. I'm in the four o'clock hour. We have time of prayer with the attending the altar. And then we do a teaching, uh, one of your YouTube teachings at five, six in the morning. It's an awesome way to start our day. Um, and so this year, we, we heard your New Year's message, speed and mobility and everything else was very exciting. And, you know, it's the year of the rabbit. We said, well, that's speed. So there you go. And so we ended up, we prayed through that and God spoke to us and said that it was a year of restoration. It was when he was restoring bank accounts, restoring all that the locusts had stolen, the enemy has stolen, our clients, our finances, you know, our seed that we're sowing, everything is gonna be restored. So we we were excited, we stood on that. And then on January 5th, which was the eve of the epiphany, um, <clears throat> we got our $1,500 stipend, which we get from China for a Chinese student that we are hosting. And that day, um, unbeknownst to us, the parents had shown up from China, came to our house and presented us with three gifts. Um, my daughter got a gold rabbit so there you go the rabbit and my husband got a gold lion okay and i got a golden scarf and so here's three strange or two strangers that came out of the blue and gave us three gifts on the eve of the epiphany from the far east from the far east so on the next day we said well we're going to get something today this is a day for us so on the epiphany which was last friday we got confirmation that we were awarded a $15,000 California dream grant, which we didn't know that we were going to be able to qualify and get. So glory. we get that. So he said, glory. So then Sunday, three days later, Jerry goes on a job and he gets three $50 bills for a plumbing job he did. Three $50 bills. So we thought, well, isn't that interesting? So the $50 bills, um, <clears throat> we each took a bill and the gift. We took some dirt. And, um, and we, um, we had a three Kings offering set. So we had frankincense, gold, and myrrh. So we split that up and we each took one, the three of us, our daughter as well. And we prayed and we believed that God was going to do some great things. So then on the 12th, which was one week from the, uh, when this started the epiphany Eve, uh, the 15,000 came into our account. So within one week, we got 150, 1500. And then 15,000. So, of course, the logic says God is going to give us 150,000 and then 1.5 million. So, yeah. so we will we'll agree for that because we have um, three years of refunds the IRS has owed us and that's moving at lightning speed. All of a sudden, the beginning of the year, there are people working on it and they're getting documents and it's coming. Um, and then we have uh, two lawsuits that are moving forward. We got emails and letters that those are coming together so this year we believe that that is going to come to pass and so we're just excited because um it is our heart to support your ministry with africa Hallelujah. and everything else and our altars are happy we we put um, yeah. we hung up carmela miles posters um in our business altar on friday and it was a good and then dr miles called us on friday so it's, it's a really great day, and we're expecting this to be a year of awesomeness. Wow, that is, that is amazing, 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 amazing. So I tell you, this is great, you know. Well, listen, everybody, you know, just wave at the Lord to thank God for this testimony. Come on, somebody. <laughs> wave at Jesus. Wave Amen. At Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. Amen. Wave yeah. at Jesus. So, God is good. Um, Praise the Lord. Wow, 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 wow. Wherever Jesus, wherever Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Let Jesus know he's doing pretty good. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, yes, and we will, uh, we will also at some point, not now, Facebook, I'm going to let Karen speak. And then when, before Chris comes up, we have one more uh, testimony uh, from my son, who's a diplomat in Chad. Uh, I want him to give a testimony about the pledge 
he made in Zambia to Francis Mouse International for our Court of Heaven Conference this year and why he made it. Why he made it. You, you got to hear that testimony. But um, because this is about partnership, we want to hear from you guys so you know that really being under this ministry is not a waste of time. There is grace for breakthrough on Francis Mars International because there are covenants God has given me that I now I'm seeing at work. You know, this testimony you might understand is a covenant God gave me. And these are the kind of things that will be happening, you know. So it's not just, you're not just following a ministry. You are following, you're not just joining an anointing. You're joining a covenant that God has given me that is very tight with the Lord. So when God is doing what he's doing for the uh, Kennedys in California, just in a few months of coming under the Francis Mars International, beginning to tithe, beginning to give, I know there's a, there's a lot in store for a whole lot of you and the people, your friends who are disillusioned and are looking for FMI. They don't know FMI is their proper home. And it's you to be an ambassador to tell them, hey, I think I know what you need. There's a ministry I think you need. And I think, you, you know, because if you are being blessed and God is touching you, hey, it, it's not, a, it, it's not, it's not uh, uh, stretching the facts that God can also use you to, to connect people like you who are looking for a ministry like Francis Mouse International. With that being the case, I want to now um, spotlight and um, spotlight um, our head of marketing, uh, uh, Karen, uh, Karen Jones, Karen Hosey, Karen Hosey, it's your floor and you are, you are a co-host that allows you to, to share a screen because of All your right. Well, great. Well, thank you. Remove myself on the spotlight so you can have the spotlight for now. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Miles. It's an honor, as I said earlier, to be with you today. And as you know, partnership is a covenant and a covenant is where both parties make a, an unbreakable agreement to the other. And as Dr. Miles said earlier, we kind of fell down on it a little bit before, but we believe that what we have and what we're going to be presenting today is something that absolutely is sustainable and it's something that you can rely on. The other thing, um, just to let you know, we're still tweaking it a little bit. And so it may not, um, we, we're going to roll it out in a little, a uh, couple weeks probably. But let me go on and share my screen and just share a couple of things. All right. Oh, nope, that's the wrong slide. Hold on. There we go. All right. When we're talking about partnership with FMI, it's a two-way commitment. You've made a commitment to us. We've made a commitment to you. And so what we want to share with you are what we are committing to you to do. There are several level, levels. I think there's four. One of them is called Destiny Helpers. Destiny Helper, as you may know, is someone that God has assigned to assist a man of God or a woman of God in the destiny that he has for them. Destiny helpers are not necessarily in the spotlight, but they are critical to the success of a ministry. And so here are some of the benefits we commit to providing destiny helpers. Now, destiny helpers are those who will give any amount that the Lord puts on their heart. It's not necessarily committing to a certain level. It's I'm willing to do whatever the Lord tells me to do for this month. So there's no minimum um, a criteria for this, but it's what the Lord puts on your heart. You're going to be obedient and willing to do. A Destiny Helper will receive 20% off of all FMI event registrations and products. We have a dedicated team of intercessors who fast and pray every Friday for our partners. And so the Destiny Helpers will, and in fact, all of the partner levels will be able to submit their prayer request, or even if they don't have a specific request, know that you are being presented before the altar of the Lord every, at least every Friday, but also during the week. So you are being covered in prayer. We will have quarterly partner only Zoom meetings with Dr. Miles, just as we're doing now, it will be just for our partners. And then we have kingdom ambassadors. Now a kingdom ambassador are those that they believe the Lord has given them a commitment of $100 every month to sow into the ministry. And that is something that um, like the Destiny Helpers, it's as the Lord leads. The kingdom ambassadors have made a commitment for a set amount. 
and with all of the partner levels, while we're talking about the donation level, it all includes prayer. We, we need you to be praying for the ministry all the time because we need your prayer covering just as you are wanting our prayer covering. So even though that might not be delineated on here, please know that part of the support when you sign up to be a partner is that you will commit to pray. Our benefits to the kingdom ambassadors, you get all of the benefits I previously described. In addition, you will have VIP seatings at FMI events. You will have an additional bi-monthly meeting with Dr. Miles. This is just for the Kingdom Ambassadors. It will not include other partner levels. This is strictly for you. And then we have the Business Kings. Business Kings are those who um, have made a commitment on a higher level financially to sow into the ministry. Now, this could be a one-time commitment, one-time donation, or it could be a monthly donation. And some of the benefits to our business kings, you have all of the previous benefits, plus your registration at all conferences is free. The only requirement is that you must email us ahead of time. If you if you so if you um, pay a registration fee, then that's going to be um, your donation to the ministry because you're eligible for free registration at all events. Dr. Miles is planning a two-day private meeting just with business kings at a, at a resort. Um, he'll, you'll know that later, but it's going to be a two-day time of private and intimate impartation and relationship with Dr. Miles. The hotel expenses will be paid by FMI. There's, again, some tweaking that we may do to this program, but that is the basis of it. And then you will have monthly Zoom calls with Dr. Miles. And this is a commitment that he is making to you for your commitment to him, that he will on once a month get on a Zoom call with you to share what God has put on his heart to prophesy over you or to hear what your needs are that he might be able to address. And then the last group we have are, are our Melchizedek tithers. These are people who commit to tithing to the ministry. Now, again, it's not a set amount. So, for instance, if you are in business for yourself, such as I am, you, your income is not steady every month. You might be able to, your tithe might be $100 this month, and it might be $500 another month, and it might be $1,000 another month. Whatever that 10% is, you're committing to tithe to FMI under the order of Melchizedek. And we know that under the order of Melchizedek, Tithing is different than under the Aaronic order. So um, we want to be sure that we are tithing under the correct priesthood. All of the benefits of the destiny helpers, all of the benefits um, that I, 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 sorry, I itemized under that group. You will also have monthly Zoom calls with Dr. Miles. You will also have free registration at FMI events. Now, the, 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 Trigger for this is that you have been tithing consecutively for six months prior to the event. So as long as you've been doing that, then contact us and we will see to it that your registration is free. And then lastly, if your tithes reach the same level as the business kings, then you will automatically be moved into that status and reap all of the business, all of the benefits of the business kings level. So what's next? As I said, we're still tweaking it. We've got to put some new things up on the website. So be patient with us, but we will be rolling this out. And then you will receive an email where you will have the opportunity to tell us where, you, where the Lord wants you for 2023. We can't assume anything. We don't want to assume because you've been doing something in the past, you want to stay at that level. The Lord, as, as, as um, we just heard from the testimony, as we continue to be faithful to him and obedient to him and be, allow him to stretch us, then we're opening um, the opportunity for him to be able to even pour out more on us. So we're going to ask while we're rolling this out, you be praying and asking the Lord, where do you want me to commit? Where do you want me to place myself in 2023 with FMI partnership? And so when you receive the email, you will be ready to honor what the Lord has told you in your heart to do for um, your partnership levels. So that's all I had, Dr. Miles.
Wow, thank you. This is amazing. Uh, maybe you can stop the screen share. Yeah. Praise God. Wow. There we thank go. You. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you, Karen. That's amazing. <laughs> That's our, uh, the woman of God, God has put on, uh, she, God has put her on a, a powerful assignment. And I'm telling you, she's a woman of follow through. And uh, I really am excited because I really have a, a staffers now that can keep me and, the, and God have keep me on, uh, on the straight and narrow path to make sure that these commitments are happening. And I've given them my absolute 100%, you know, and most importantly, the direction of our ministry to FMI, France Mars International, and the spirit of it has really changed going forward because we are becoming more of a crusade, soul winning ministry and discipleship ministry. That's the, going to be the ends, the essence. And so it has changed my schedule, the, you know, the, and, and uh, you know, this year, as you know, I've told you some of you, I'll be operating a lot out of, out of Africa to establish the, the, the crusade team for the track that many of you have helped to pay for. And I would give a, an update on the track. You know, uh, maybe I should say it now. Uh, we, we have purchased the track and all the equipment, 30,000 uh, and equipment to speak to 30,000 people to begin with, all of it is being shipped in containers. And uh, this month from the from uh, two ports in China, uh, it should arrive in Africa some the end of February or, or early March. Our first crusade in Africa, where we're expecting 40 to 50,000 people is going to be June 1st to the 4th. And we're going to be putting together, Kamala and I are working on that. And then we are going to, once we finalize what we, our thoughts around it, we will rendezvous with uh, Karen Hosey. Uh, but we, there's been a lot of people have been asking to want to be part of that missions team from, the, from around the world to be there at the crusade and help us, ashes and greet us, whatever. And at the same time, maybe get to see Zambia. So we are trying to put that together. Hopefully before the end of this month, you have a complete package that we can talk about the next time we talk. Praise the Lord. But we got that track. Thank God for those who give to the Gideon 300. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah, it's, you know, so we're getting that stuff. And we thought we thank God again for your amazing partnership. And for those who continue to give towards the African Crusade equipment, we are most grateful by the Spirit of God. And as I believe uh, uh, Katrina will speak about what she's doing with that in terms of uh, scheduling for times for me to either pray for you or do a Zoom with you. But until, but before we do that, there is an, there is, a, I saw one of my spiritual sons. Uh, he, yeah, he is a diplomat from, from Chad. And I just want to him to quickly give a testimony of, uh, give a testimony. Son, I would love for you to give a testimony uh, of the, how the Lord touched your heart in Zambia at the conference, you know, and maybe you can also quickly touch on how powerful that conference was, you know, in the Republic of Zambia. Uh, and then uh, you also have five minutes, no more than that, please. Okay, oh, unmute yourself, diplomat. Thank you very much, Dad. Good uh, uh, evening to everyone. Genu uh, Jinje Konkosi is my name. First of all, I would like to thank the Lord for the opportunity to be given to spend one week with Dr. Francis Miles and <laughs> Mom Carmela, one week uh, for this conference. Uh, as my sister Cecilia, I come to meet Dr. Francis Miles in 2022, and I got addicted. I went through buying all the books and reading them, <laughs> connected to all the lives, YouTube, Facebook, and whatever you can imagine. And uh, during the conference, it was so powerful because the teachings were really uh, touching my heart with what God has put in my heart for Africa. And why I take this uh, commitment is because the vice president of Zambia Yes. Stood up, a woman, and start to decreeing and declaring and stating that the court of heaven for Africa must be a yearly event. That's right. <laughs> and then uh, that for Dr. Francis Miles said that the average cost of the conference 
was about 50,000 USD. And then the spirit triggered a 53 days fasting that I had when I was uh, in uh, uh, TRC in Africa a few years ago for the salvation of Africa based on Zechariah 2 8. Yes. And then the idea of the crusade for Africa all comes together, and my heart just bubbled up. And I said, Lord, this is you doing this. By faith, I believe in you to contribute at the 50% of the 50,000 by October 2023. Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on, somebody give God a shout. <laughs> Amen. That's an African, uh, going to, you don't know how big for an African. We are not living in America, you know, or Europe, but Africa to give $25,000 uh, to the work of the Lord is no joke. And, uh, but God moved, he, God touched him, but he has been, he has seen the hand of God ever since he joined Francis Mouse International. Is that not true? Absolutely, absolutely. In all the areas of my life, the first <laughs> UN staff that the Lord helped me to touch and bring to the kingdom of God, it was through uh, the court of heaven. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you so much, son. I really I love you. He's a diplomat, works for the United Nations, very up, high up in the government of Chad. You know, he fellowship with presidents all over Africa, but he's such a humble man. I love you. And surely he spent one week with me. Zambia was the first time he started tithing. You know, uh, the first time I saw a tithe of $1,800 coming from Africa, I first want to follow up. I said, no, not Africa. That's that's a mistake. That's a mistake. I said, who, who does that out of Africa? Sending $1,800 from Africa to America. That sh that's reversing the curse. I'm like, my God, as an African, I, I knew the significance of that. You know, and so I called him and we prayed and we've been connected. But Zambia was the first time he ever laid eyes on me. And uh, he loved it. We had an amazing time for one week. He had me all to himself, asked me all kinds of questions. We prayed. It was great. So thank you again, uh, Diplomat, for your, your graciousness and for coming to Zambia and for your pledge to the ministry. So you definitely are one of our first business kings for 2023. So this year, I'm thinking of Orlando. Orlando is one of my favorite towns. We're trying to find a four-star hotel where we can have a lot of fun and ministry all mixed together. We're gonna, we'll find a four-star resort in Orlando for December before Christmas for you guys to come with the business kings for 2023 by the time we get there. Amen. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Hallelujah. What a God we serve. Amen. Now, um, I want to introduce now our social media, uh, our head of social media marketing uh, that, we, we, that we, was a recent hire for us out of the great state of, out of the apples, out of the great state of New York, New York. So, Chris, you have the floor. Yes, hi. Uh, again, uh, thank you, Dr. Miles, and thank you to, to everyone uh, for welcoming me uh, into Francis Myers, Miles International. And uh, my, my two and a half months or whatever with, uh, with, with you guys has been amazing. Um, the vibe and the energy and the, the work ethic of the team is, is just the positivity and uh, inspiring uh, work that we've been doing and you know moving just moving ahead and in the right pace and uh, it's been great so our, our main um i think karen do you have you have the uh, powerpoint uh, you can share so we we hit the ground running in november when i started um and the main um the main thing that we've been really working on and what I saw when I joined the company, especially for online, because now marketing essentially, every, you know, there, there's social media, everybody knows social media, the platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and, and everything else. Um, and the communities that are out there, um, you know, but the whole, the whole idea that we've been trying to, to figure out how to do is how to bring the FMI communities or online communities together in such a way where it feels like a small community. So we're bringing, you know, we're bringing this, this huge global community uh, together, 
And so it feels like a smaller community uh, where it's much more personal and much more organic, um, which is very tough because there's so much, as we know, and the attention spans on social media um, are, are just quicker and faster uh, than they've ever been. Uh, and it's hard to keep up. So what we want to do is slow it down. There's a great thing about having the, the global idea that of connection is amazing. But then there's the negative side of it, as we all know, where it's harder to connect and harder to get personal. And so what we uh, hit the ground running on doing is a whole kind of online social media relaunch. Uh, like I said, social media marketing is now marketing. We don't send you know, there's no flyers anymore and there's no, you know, posters and it's, it's not as, as, uh, as print driven as it used to be. Um, so we're doing a, we just started this week, uh, relaunching for 2023, uh, the social media relaunch, uh, of FMI. And the whole idea was to bring the community together and to engage more with the community and to have the community engage. So, even the possibility of getting them used to engaging with us and getting used to them engaging with the content um, as well as, as with each other. That would be the, the ultimate thing is people commenting on each other's comments and, and, and a lot of social media these days is reaching out. Um, I mean, I should say not reaching out, but pushing out. So you push out the information and push it out. But, what really, you know, not even it, just in terms of what we need to do is to is to pull the people in uh, and connect them and uh, organically, not you know, uh, with with good content and with personal content, with ways where where we can engage and they can engage. Um, and so uh, we're using YouTube as sort of the hub because that's where we people sort of have a they'll watch longer uh, content, you know, and that's really what we want everyone to do is watch the longer content. Dr. Miles's teachings, uh, you know, the, the church online, uh, the live streams, the events, uh, we want people to, to uh, eventually, uh, you know, really get used to doing that. So YouTube is great for that, but we can also have shorts on there um, as well to kind of, you know, bridge that, at, you know, as well as for all the people that have the short attention span, um, they'll they'll get more of that personal touch as well. But Facebook, Instagram, uh, using YouTube as the hub is sort of what we've uh, we've decided to focus on right now, and then go further into Rumble and uh, and uh, and and Parler and uh, and Twitter, and you know, everyone has their uh, their own favorite platform we all know this and so they can use that platform and maybe start to 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 move towards youtube so in this we want to keep things co cohesive um and so we've come up with monthly themes and we've branded the, the themes in a way where someone's scrolling and they'll know it's it's fmi they'll know it's dr miles and they'll look forward to something each week so we have the Monday meditation uh, where uh, Dr. Myers will be uh, doing a, a teaching, teachings, uh, uh, do a prayer, or even just an inspiring thought on Monday, something to meditate on. And we'll also link that to one of his longer teachings on YouTube as well, which we started this week. And uh, out of the gate, it got a great response. We did, you know, I think three or four times the amount of views on YouTube that we had that that are regular for YouTube and you know people like that and the community likes that and uh and then YouTube likes that so Tuesday is dear Dr. Miles which is a reach out and essentially we ask people to ask questions for, to Dr. Miles whatever they want and engage in the comments section and what we'll and what we we're gonna do is every Tuesday we're gonna we're gonna collect. We started that this week as well, and we got some brave brave people to uh, to to ask some questions, and we've been compiling them and engaging engaging with them. Um, and Dr. Miles will then have a Q and A, uh, which we're, we hope to do uh, next week, um, and we'll let you know when that's gonna be, um, or the week after, up to Dr. Miles' schedule. 
but we're going to have a live Q&A where he can answer the, the questions from the reach out, the Dear Dr. Miles reach out, and also answer questions in the chat. So like a big Zoom that we'll do, you know, once a month and maybe twice a month as we go forward. But it would be a great, a great way to, to just bring the people together. Wednesday, uh, uh, Pastor Carmela, is that's essentially her day. Um, and get creative with Carmela, um, where she's going to do, do the same thing. Give her, probably in a short format, but give her inspiring thoughts on creativity and creating. Um, and uh, another, another just thing that, that the community can look forward to on that day uh, of the week, every, you know, every Wednesday morning. Uh, and then Thursday, which we, uh, again, we launched all this this week uh, for the first time. And we have Thankful Thursday, which is another reach out. And we got, we got a lot of obvious um, responses to that. So it's essentially tell us what we're thank what you're thankful for. And again, we'll engage w with them to, you know, to just just to to let them know that there's people here and it's not it's not something that they're just throwing out a, a comment into nowhere, you know, and, uh, and engage with them. And then Friday, we have uh, Dr. Miles video, which would be forgiveness Friday. Um, and, you know, forgiving yourself, forgiving others as the theme for Friday. Again, you can see all of the, the thumbnails and the branding, which the graphics team did such an amazing job on, where you'll scroll and you'll be able to see these, uh, you know, you'll know that's, that's FMI right there. Um, and uh, we had that um, we, yesterday, I guess yesterday was Friday. We've been <laughs> so busy. Um, and we, so we put that out yesterday. It was just another one. And then the comment section, the, all, the whole idea, again, is to engage. So they watch the video and then they tell, you know, the, what their, you know, their um, forgiveness and uh, experience. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's essentially in a, in a nutshell what we're looking to do, um, and to hopefully build a community, um, and which already with engagement and the personal touch, which goes very far on these platforms, uh, and again in a very organic way, because uh, we want more people to subscribe, we want more people to engage, we want to connect people, so it feels like they're not so alone and um, make it feel like a small world in the, in this big world. So uh, yeah, that, that is, that is what we're looking to do. So thank you, Dr. Miles and nice meeting everybody from uh, Brooklyn. <laughs> wow. That's thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Well done, Chris. Thank you so much. Thanks. And welcome to the team. Everybody just, they just wave to, to, uh, to Chris. Welcome Chris. To FMI, hey man, you know this tent is a growing tent. We welcome you and thank you for the work that you are doing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, I know you may have to jump off at some point, so I understand. Karen already forewarned me about that, you know, but I hope you can stay a little bit longer. Praise God. Amen. Uh, but I'm going to do one last thing, uh, and then I'm going to get into the prophetic message that I have for you guys, because you need an impartation this more, this to, to, today, whatever you are coming from. Uh, more people are jumping in, thank God. But I want to introduce you to my assistant, Kat, uh, Katrina, my personal assistant. You know, she works all awkward hours because I'm just awkward like that, you know, but she can take it, you know, um, and she's my niece. You know, I'm just so proud of her. So she's the one also handling the scheduling uh, for the Zoom and also the prayer calls I must do. So Katrina, just uh, take about uh, uh, two and a half minutes. Just tell us what you're doing for FMI. She's also okay. a new heart, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello again. Um, so um, like I said, I am very excited to see what this um, year has for us in store. Um, so right now I am, I have, seeing some of the names, I've already spoken to a couple of you guys. So hi again. But um, within the upcoming days, I will be contacting and reaching out to um, more partners um, regarding a Zoom call or a WhatsApp call for Dr. Miles. So I do want to just give like full disclosure. I am also from New York. So if you see a 516 number, it's not a telemarketer. It is me. Um, so please um, just answer that. Um, my email is Katrina at FrancisMiles.com in case you guys 
anything that you guys want to direct to me, um, you guys can contact me that way. But within the upcoming few days, I will be reaching out to you guys to schedule some calls if you guys already did not um, receive that time with Dr. Miles. So yeah, so just look out for that 516 number. It's me. <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And just to thank you, Katrina. We love you. And again, thank hey, you. guys, why don't you wave at my knees? Just welcome to FMI. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise very, God. Very, very happy praise. to be here. It's a wonderful praise. way to start our Saturday. Yes. <laughs> love you. Love you, baby. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, um, it, it comes back to the man of God. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So, again, I, I'm thankful. Now, uh, Karen, did we talk about us, Dr. Miles, Saturday? No. Well, well, Chris mentioned I, I it, yes. Hold, but... hold on. I think you should talk about it Talk about it so our partners can go and be evangelists because this one is open to anybody who follows Francis Miles, who's part, who's part of our database. But at least I'd like for you to talk about it. Right. As Chris had mentioned on Tuesday, we're asking people to put in the comment section on Facebook or even on YouTube, uh, what questions would you want Dr. Miles to answer? And it can be about, you know, one of his uh, messages. It can be just a theological question that you've always pondered, but put it in the in the comment section and we will compile those. And then on a given day each month based on his schedule, and this month it's going to be, I think Dr. Miles wants, uh, will be available next Saturday. Same we time. will have, I'm sorry? Same time Saturday. Yes. Um, okay. You want 10 o'clock in the morning yeah. is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, 10 o'clock in the morning next Saturday, we're going to have a live Q&A. So the basis of that will be the questions that will, were put on Facebook. That's going to be what he focuses on first. But during that time, you may have other questions that you can put into the chat on Zoom. And as he can, he will get to answer them. Now, if trust me, we won't get to answer all of them. He would have to be on Zoom for five days. But what we don't answer on a particular live session, we will try to answer later through social media either through a short that he will do a video. If we have a lot of people asking questions about a certain subject, he will respond to that on video. So you've got to stay connected to us on social media um, because that's where a lot of the interaction is going to be. But next Saturday at 10 o'clock, we will have a live Q&A with Dr. Miles based on the questions that you put into Facebook on Tuesday. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Love you. Great job, great job, great job, great job. Yeah, praise the Lord. So, um, okay, now you've heard from my staff where we are trying to go. I'm so excited because I love you. You know, I love you and nothing blesses me more than to see the Lord blessing you the way he has been blessing you. You know, coming out of Africa, I had, uh, when the Lord began to first call me to America, you know, you might be surprised at this. Every African just wants to, you know, if you, you say America, they just want to get on the next train and get, get going. You know, but I was not like that because I really had a supernatural face-to-face -face encounter with Jesus. Many of you have followed Sid Roth or my student Sid Roth know that Sid Roth did enact uh, one of my transformational encounters with the Lord. When the Lord appeared to me in as a new believer and took me out of my body and healed me of that incurable disease with balls all over my face. You know, when you come in the kingdom that way, you know, obedience, the proceeding word of the Lord is a big deal. You, it's not just doing because you got to do it. God is a big deal. So when I wanted to make sure that I always follow the Lord. And so I did tell the Lord, I said, Lord, if you want to take me to America, I just wanted before you do that, you prove to me that the word of the Lord works in Africa because at the time, at least Africa now is changing. And I thank God there's an economic renaissance. Africa is rising, you know, because the blessed continent, we have just mismanaged most of our resources, but there's a new Solomonic uh, uh, administrators who are rising in Africa that are really allowing the country to have ethics, law, uh, law uh, the rule of law. And so we're beginning to see a resurgence of economic prosperity on African continent. And uh, Zambia is one of the ex those examples. You know, but at the time, that is 25 years ago, you know, uh, I mean, I saw quite struggle. I saw a lot of struggle. And I said, Lord, I got to see you work miracles. If the, if the revelation you're giving me is authentic and dynamic, 
you know, come from a God who doesn't change. Then it ought to work in the harsh condition of Africa. And the Lord began to give me strong miracles of not only my own, but where others were being changed in Africa. So that was the covenant I made with the Lord. Give me revelations that are practical in nature, that they are actionable technologies of the spirit. So people can say, because I heard Dr. Mao say that, I can point to these results since I heard Dr. Mao say that. This is, the, this is the entomology of how I think in, uh, and uh, how I write or how I pray, how I think through my messages, you know, how I, I, I pray through the, the, the heavens to catch the Lord in those areas. And the Lord has been very faithful. He has truly given Francis Mouse International powerful spiritual technologies that actually work on ground zero. Just the a, a, a other day, but Katrina set me up on a Zoom call with one of our partners from UK who gave $2,000 towards the gospel track. And that, that, came, that giving came with a 30-minute private face-to-face -face prayer uh, with me. And uh, we did it. And uh, the first thing out of my mouth was, oh, my God, she was just so excited. She said, I want to tell you something. He said, you, you, you may not remember this, but a while back, you prayed with me and you spoke to the earth because she's trying to buy a university in, in, uh, in Nigeria, a big university because she's a, she's a PhD and she's got all everything she needs to have an, uh, a creative arts university, which will be Africa's first creative arts university. And, uh, but she said, you know, when I prayed with her and we spoke to the earth, she said immediately, like a week after, a massive, uh, um, um, uh, a, ma a massive, um, a massive piece of land in the uh, indigenous home of Nigeria opened up. That that you know, and and the price was affordable for them, for her, a sister, and a brother. It's only three of them in a mother, so they went and bought that three property, that, that property, brother, sister, and uh, two sisters, one brother. They bought it. They said, "Mouse, I am here to report." He said, "I hope you are sitting down." Said, what is this? He said, she said, two months, I mean two months after they close on those properties, on those lands, without putting any structure on them, no wall. They were trying to build some massive, some house houses on it or whatever. He said, without doing anything to it, the Nigerian army came and came in military trucks, surrounded that area where the new land was. People were wondering, what is the Nigerian uh, military doing here in such numbers? Well, it's because the government of Nigeria just discovered the largest deposit of oil in that state. And the land they bought happens to be part of the oil territory. And now, the land, now, now there are negotiations with the government of Nigeria for a buyout on this piece of land with a lot of oil. She was screaming and shouting. He said, only God. He said, Don Mouse, I was born and raised. She's, I think, close to 50. She said, I was born and raised in this area of Nigeria. We have never had oil in that state. That's not a state known for oil. He says, but suddenly we speak to the earth and all of a sudden there's oil all over the place and all our three properties that we bought are full of oil. And now we're in negotiation with the Nigerian government on how much they're going to pay us to, uh, you know, pay us for for uh, for taking over our land. I said, only Jesus. Only, this is this is this is a story books made for the Bible. You know, I'm saying this to say this. That since I'm sensing something supernatural today, that's why I gathered you, and I'm not going to take long because I'm just want to drop this prophetic word first and foremost to you. I'm going to be doing a full blown teaching on it. Tomorrow uh, at Olive Tree Church, and uh, for one of my spiritual daughters, an apostle in our apostolic network, uh, 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 Apostle Karen Johnson. So we'll be streaming live. Hopefully, by the grace of God, we'll be streaming live to YouTube. You should see it at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time tomorrow. You know, which I think is about what? I think it's about that time. I think it's about 19 hours. Uh, 19 hours in Africa you know, and UK, whatever, in America, just 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to go live. I'm going to teach a full teaching on 
the angels of speed and mobility. This is a based upon a supernatural encounter that the Lord gave me when I was in the Republic of Africa, also in the Republic of Zambia in Africa, you know, uh, at the same meeting where the diplomat attended, the Lord, um, uh, the Lord uh, came to talk to me. And when the Lord came to talk to me, he opened up a realm. He showed me a company of angels I've never seen before. And I've seen some angelic beings before. And uh, every time the Lord shows me, and I show angelic beings, I'm asking what, are the, what is the assignment? Because what's the point of just having angels if you don't know what they're assigned to do so you can activate that dimension? Because, you know, men, angels are ministering spirits sent forth to those of us who are heirs of salvation. So, um, so the Lord said to me, Francis, this company of angelic beings, this company of angelic beings that you are seeing are called angels of speed and mobility. Angels of speed and mobility. He said to me, you know, they do exactly what their name suggests. They are angels of speed and mobility. And I, I said to him, I said, Lord, Lord, why, why are you showing me this? He said, well, because I want to talk to you about the bad, your budget. Okay, and, and, and now remember this was a, a, a day before we launched the Court of Heaven Conference in the Republic of Zambia, which happens every December, that this year we had the privilege of having the Vice President of the Republic of Zambia to officiate the convocation. That's why she said, this has to be a national conference for Africa because we had delegates from all over Africa who came to, uh, for, for, who came to the conference. You know, the, the national media was there because of course the, highest, the second highest office in the land was there. You know, it was published in the newspapers every, uh, I mean, uh, the, the following morning, but she said, she made a proclamation from the, uh, that we are proclaiming that Courts of Heaven Conference under Francis Miles International will become a national and yearly conference for this nation and the, and the countries of Africa. So. That's what caused a diplomat to say, no, if, uh, if she's making that decree, I got to step up as somebody who's the part and parcel of the FMI family. And that's what, he, what the Lord led him to do uh, to make that pledge towards the budget for this year's December Africa Courts of Heaven Conference. But I said this to say that, the, 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 that our US office, because of your generous giving, had already released money towards this um, budget and one of the uh, towards this conference and so one of the line items was whenever we have a, a conference there we hire nice nice cars so that are worthy of men of God so that these are for, they are, these are for protocol to take the men and women of God from the hotel and back and forth you know so that they are comfortable as, as, as much as possible while they are saving the Lord in Africa you know because many of them are far away from home so we do that and the Lord said to me, it was, it was a small piece. You know, I think it, it only, um, it only, had, uh, it only, I think in the budget, it only amounted for about $2,000, which was not a lot, but it, you know, but God said to me, that amount right there. I said, yes. He said, I want you to open it up. So what do you mean? You know, I want you to, I want you to open it up and, and, and move it, open up and act as if it has not been paid because I want that section uh, uh, it, because it deals with mobility of the speakers, I want that section to be given to a few uh, businessmen in Zambia that need a breakthrough. Because I went, if they obey me to jump on and they, they take ownership of that part of the budget, he said, I am going to cause them to be the first fruit of these angels of speed and mobility. Uh, the diplomat was there. I made that announcement. A couple of business people ran, ran to the altar to because they wanted to be part of that, part of that. One of them was a woman who has been a great uh, FMI supporter of our ministry. You know, she gives to every conference we've ever had, she gives to that. And uh, so she was one of the first people to run out. She got, she had be, uh, what is interesting, a year before this, she had been dreaming of uh, 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 a, a fast cars, a big cars in her, she would dream of, of, about cars. The dreams were so vivid. She said, Lord, why do you keep showing me all these fast driving cars in my dreams? And so when I made that uh, uh, announcement, 
She said, my spirit lived. And the Holy Spirit said to her, that I was, I've been preparing you for the year for the prophetic announcement the man of God is making. So she was one of the first people to respond. Well, when she did and gave a specific offering that the Lord was asking for, for those business kings, that those who wanted to make business kings, you know, by uniting them with these angels, you know, she said that some something strange happened. She gave that she made a pledge. She made and actually she she made a pledge and 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 within I think a couple of hours she had deposited the money in the in the FMI account. She was so excited, you know, that God had done that. She had done that, you know. And then uh, this was a Thursday, I believe. And then on a Friday, she gets bad news. What looks like bad news? She had a client, a a a a, a foreign client was renting one of her massive mansions and she was being paid $4,000 a month, which is a lot of money for Africa. You know, it is a massive house though, you know, but that's what they were paying and they were very faithful in paying. They would pay months in advance, never gave her any headaches. So it was a real blessing. The very day she gave the very morning, she, she made the pledge to the Lord and the very very morning they get, they get a phone call from these people. They say, well, we really great to inform you. Things have changed for us. I think they were going back or whatever, something was happening. They, or maybe that built their, their own place now. They said, we are moving out of the house. We're giving you a 30 day notice. You know, she said, she said, she got so this, first she got discouraged, said, Lord, I don't get it. I just, you know, I heard, I heard that the angels of speed and mobility have been released in my life, you know, and I, I did what you, what you steered my heart to do in response to the word of the man of God. How, why, why am I losing one of the, my best accounts just after doing it? You know, and the Lord was quiet. The Lord did not answer because sometimes God will test your faith and your obedience too. You know, he didn't say anything, but she said, no, Lord, I'm not, but I know you, you know, and I know Dr. Miles is a man of God. That's one thing I know. He said, I knew God was real. And I knew Francis, he knew Dr. Miles as a real anointing uh, because she's followed me for quite a long time and seen God give a miracle after miracle after miracle because of following my ministry. So she knew he said, well, I've got those two testimonies, you know, but I don't understand this, but I got those two testimonies. So anyway, that's Friday. Saturday, our last day of our conference, she gets another call <laughs> from, from UNICEF. From, I, I believe it was from UNICEF. They say, hey, we've heard that your, ma your, that your mansion that, 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 that you have uh, in the city is becoming open within a month. Uh, we've just, I don't know how they found out. You know, they, uh, she had no clue they found out. They said, we want to make a bid on it before, before anybody gets it because we don't want anybody to get it. We, it's a perfect spot for what we need to do. Uh, we need to do for the United Nations. So we, here, here is our offer. She, and the Lord, she just kept quiet. Here is our offer. They said, would you give it to us and give it, would you ag 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 agree to a list with us right now over the phone if, if we agree to pay you $12,000 per month for the same property locked in. My God, it was a no-brainer. She almost fell off. She fell off. She said, what? Yes, she said, yes. And she, yes. So by the time she came to the conference, she's already got deal in the bag less than 48 hours from the time she connected to these angels of speed and mobility. She, the same house that looked like a disappointment. The reason why God never answered her is because that was the flesh reacting. You know, God didn't answer. God does not answer the flesh. See, God does not speak to the flesh because the Bible says that, that no flesh should glory in his presence. So he just kept quiet. But within 48 hours, he found out why God never said anything. He, God was moving the old people out to give her UNICEF that was going to give her three times the same house. No changes to the house. Three times. In Africa, $12,000 every month. My God. Even in America, that's a lot of rent. It's tough to eat. I live in a beautiful neighborhood in Franklin, but nobody pays that in rent. Or maybe they, some people, do. let me, but some people do. There's some houses that are, yeah, yeah, that are that big in Franklin. Yeah, they are multi million dollar homes. If you rented them, you can pay that much. But I'm talking about Africa. God did it. She, I mean, she wanted to hug me. She said, Get up in this. Oh my God, man of God. Do people really know? You know? That the word of the Lord in your mouth is true. I said, well, some people are finding out that. You know, I'm very careful. I, I'm very fearful of the Lord. Nobody recognizes how far I've come, uh, how nothing I am. 
outside of who Jesus is. Nobody knows that me than me. Nobody remembers where God get, brought me from than Francis Mouse. I remind myself that of every day. Sometimes when I see what you do for this ministry, the love, the support, I'm like, Lord, are you kidding me? Is this the same African boy who was so poor in 1989 when poor people saw me, they got encouraged. They're like, my God, I thought I was doing bad until I saw him. Is this the same Francis Miles? Yes, I am, but with a different God. And so it honors me, it humbles me. So I'm going to list to you the word of the Lord in the next few minutes, and I'm going to just delist it over you so that we can have a Holy Communion after that. And then I'm going to quickly uh, acknowledge some of the things you have on your chat functions in our time to chat. Look at your chat. I'll look at that before we close and call it the day. Amen? But I have another meeting coming up in a, little, in a short while, so I want to be able to give you the word of the Lord. So God said to me, what is coming in 2023, Francis? So Jesus showed me the, so I'm prophesying, by the way, this is the spirit of prophecy, now just being released. So this is a prophetic word. Make it personal. Put your name on it. Okay? Jesus showed me uh, what is coming in 2023 for, for the body of Christ and specifically for partners and tithers in Francis Mouse International because they were specifically revealed to me. So there's a special grace God is giving me to be able to impart this dimension to the body of Christ. What is coming in 2023? Jesus showed me the arrival on earth of a special company of angels that he called angels of speed and mobility. Jesus said to me, many of my people are seriously delayed in relationship to the calendar of heaven for their God-given destinies. And therefore, these angels have come in the earth to confront the principality of delay. The principality of delay. And he gave me the scripture from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 12, uh, verse 12 to 28. And it says, son of man, what is this proverb that you, that you people have heard uh, 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 your people have about the land of Israel, which says the days are prolonged and every vision fails. Tell them, therefore, that says the Lord God, I will lay this proverb to rest and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But said to them, the days are at hand and the fulfillment of every vision. Somebody ought, ought, ought to receive that by the Holy Ghost. For no more shall there be any false vision or flattering divination within the house of Israel. In other words, where, you know, stuff that sounds right, but God, he didn't, didn't say them. God, you know, not only is God going to begin to fulfill what he told you, you eliminate out of your in life false prophecies that are binding you to what God never said. For I am the Lord, I speak. Watch this verse. For I am the Lord. I speak, and the word which I will speak will come to pass. Somebody ought to put your name on it. You know, you go and open up your diary, and the words that you know that you know came from the Lord are coming alive because these angels of speed and mobility are being released even as you hear the sound of my voice. My God, I feel this anointing. Amen. It will not be, it will no more be postponed. My God. You know, how does it feel? You know, you are looking forward to a dinner or you're looking forward to a fellowship and then it gets postponed. Come on. You know, your heart drops. You know, you're looking forward to get married and then it gets postponed. You are looking forward to get funding for your business and then it gets postponed. I don't know if that describes you. I'm here to tell you by the word of the Lord, it's over. There are angels of, angels of speed and mobility that the Lord, my God, is releasing by the mouth of the prophet. Because you know God does nothing unless he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Okay? And that is my calling. You know, I'm a prophetic apostle by the call of God. Amen? And I'm telling you what the Lord said, and it's already coming to pass for people. I prayed for several people this year and made this the impartation, and all of them are telling me things are happening. Speed. Is happening for them. Look at verse, uh, hallelujah. For he, say, he says, he says, uh, for in your days, all the rebellious house, I will say the word and perform it. You know, delay can open you up to a spirit of rebellion. What do I mean? You love the Lord, but because of delay, 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 or in your life of what should be coming to pass, 
you, 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 your heart becomes hard in believing. You hear things, ah, you hear things, ah. So before you know it, when God says move, you don't move. So you are becoming a rebellious person, not because it's your nature, but because you are becoming pes a pessimist. Because how, after all, that has not come to pass. This has never happened. This has never happened. God says you have become a rebellious house because the spirit of delay, principality of delay, that strong man spirit has conditioned you, put you, you know, that put you in a bubble where it put you, it locked you in into delay. And you thought the delay was coming from the Lord and you didn't see a demon, an actual demon whose primary assignment in the demonic kingdom is to cause delay. You didn't see that, you didn't see that devil, but today God said, I'm going to deal with him and, de and deliver you from the rebellion he has brought in your heart because of your discouragement. Because this day we're entering a season where, where whatever, when God says the word, it will, it, it will perform it. Says the Lord of God, says Lord God. Again, the word of the Lord came to me. See, when God repeats himself, you better take it to the bank. Saying to me, son of man, look, the house of Israel is saying, the vision that he says is for many days from now. People are so pessimistic. When a prophet like Francis Miles walks with God, tells you this is a year you're going to experience speed and mobility like never before. Your pessimism says, well, you know, nothing really happens good for me. You know, that whatever, the demand, you, know, you know, now just to be good, to, you, know, you know, not to be abundantly, uh, 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 not, not to abundantly walk in unbelief, you, you, you sugarcoat it and you simply postpone the deliverance. You say, oh, you know, what Dr. Mouse is saying is for another time in the future. That's what they were saying here. It's for many days from now. And he prophesizes, he prophesies of times that are far, far off. So let, in other words, don't get your hopes up. He's prophesying of another far, far time, far, far off. Therefore say to them, I'm saying to you, thus says the Lord God, none of my words will be postponed anymore. But the word which I, will, I speak will be done, saith the Lord. Somebody ought to give God a shout. I mean, somebody ought to give God a shout. If you are receiving that, I want you just for 30 seconds, unmute yourself and give God a shout. Because I'm telling you, I hear this thing. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! that spirit of delay Amen. Jesus says nobody, you know, can ransack the strong man's house unless he first bind the strong man. Well, these angels, the Lord said to me, are here to bind the strong man of delay, but they are also here to bind uh, and to destroy another, an, an, another altar, and then I'm going to stop. So give me two minutes to bring this to an end. The Holy Spirit showed me that this principality of delay is a strong man spirit that manipulates human events to make delay look normal instead of spiritual. He said, he said this, uh, he said to me that this principality of delay, I never thought about the delay as a principality. He said this principality of delay is a strong man spirit that manipulates human events to make delay look normal instead of spiritual. You know, but the devil is a liar. You know, it's not normal. It is not normal. So uh, the Lord told me that these angels of speed and mobility have a measuring line in their hands to measure and audit our current level 
of alignment to the kingdom of God in order to shift us, my God, in order, in order to shift us into total alignment with the will of God for our lives, my God, hallelujah. This is amazing. This is amazing. My God, my God, my God, it's amazing. Hallelujah. So get ready for that. And then he said, the final thing he said was, Jesus, Jesus told me about this end of mobility, that many of my people are also fighting evil altars of stagnation in their bloodline. This stagnation is Satan's penalty on their bloodline for what their forefathers did. That's what he said to me. He said, this evil author of stagnation in their bloodline is, uh, that they are paying a penalty for is due to what their forefathers did. The Lord showed me that these angels have come to tear down these evil altars in the bloodline of men and women of destiny. And I hope by the Spirit of God that you are ready to receive these angels of spirit and mobility. And so I prophesy them in your life. So I'm going to go to the God of the view so you can raise your hand. So I can see you raise your hand to the Lord. He has to receive this impartation now. So in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right now, as a prophet of God, representing the Lord Jesus. Representing the Lord Jesus. Representing the Lord Jesus. Right now, by the Spirit of God, as a prophet of the Lord, I release the word of the Lord. I summon the word of the Lord concerning these angels of spirit and mobility, be your portion. That in the name of Jesus, this angel of spirit and mobility will give you the grace in 2023 and beyond to finally get past the strong man demon of delay to finally be, uh, see the evil altars of stagnation that, are, that, that Satan has been making you pay for be destroyed because you have been delivered. Because these angels have got a plumb line in their hand and every time they measure your current level of achievement against their book, your book of destiny, they'll recognize that even though in the natural, people might be admiring your level of success, the angels will be like, no, 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 no. You are far away from what God wrote in your book of destiny. See, that is what God measures your success against. It's not what people say. You could be a millionaire to people and God is grieved because you are caught be a billionaire you see so what don't judge by what men see don't make the mistake of of samuel god does not look like men do he looks on the heart and then he says things we don't see so these angels know what is in your book so when they plumb line you they say no devil that's not how much money God wants to give her. There is more. And bam, they go to work for you. No devil, that's not the kind of house he's supposed to be living in. Bam, they give you a new house or they find you a new property. No devil, this is not the only country she's supposed to go to. She's supposed to be a missionary or travel to 10 countries. Bam, they measure that. And now all of a sudden those countries open up. These angels of uh, speed and mobility by the word of prophecy are being released right now into your life and they're being released into any fmi partner who is on with us now and they're being released on partners that miss today's zoom live zoom call but later on will be listening to this i said don't be discouraged that you miss this live meeting receive it because the anointing uh, of this prophecy will remain alive and well says the lord for many months to come this year receive it this is the assignment of the lord your god for 2023 in Jesus name for the Lord thy God has heard your cry your bedside cry how long how long my Lord before you deliver me how long how long my Lord before we are living in a house we can call our home oh Lord how long how long before I get a better job than a job where I feel like I'm a Hebrew slave how long how long before you bless my business oh God so I can finance the kingdom Lord how long how long before I meet my Boaz the man appointed for me the my Ruth the woman 
woman appointed for me. How long, how long am I going to be alone, my Lord? Or when you have given me a desire to be married, I am here to tell you about the spirit of prophecy that the Lord has heard the Christ by your bedside. He says, even as I heard the cry of Hezekiah, when my prophet, even Isaiah, by the word of the Lord, taught him to put his house in order because he was going to die. And yet my uh, servant Ezekiah turned to the wall in heartfelt repentance and he cried before me, said the Lord, and reminded me of how much he, he had saved, he had saved me in righteousness. And before uh, my prophet Isaiah left uh, the courtyard, did I not speak to them? Did I not change the proceeding word? Did I not tell him, go back for he crieth to me? And I told him, go back and tell him for he shall live and I'll give him 15 more years. And the prophet of Isaiah went back to the bed to the bedside of the the bedside of um, the prophet uh, of um, of King Hezekiah. He went to the bedside and he prophesied. He said, "The Lord said he has changed the preceding word. You live and not die. Glory to God. You live and not die. And the Lord is is giving you fifteen more years. And is and Hezekiah said, well, how shall they uh, give me? Shall, uh, what, what shall be the sign?'" that the Lord surely shall heal me of this disease and give me the 15 years he has promised. The prophet said, what do you want God to do with time? Do you want the sun to go forward or do you want the sun to go backwards? Uh, Ezekiah was smart. He realized time can always go forward, but what time cannot do and unless God is moving it is go backwards. So he said, I want the sundial. I want the time to go backwards all the way to sundial of Ahaz. What is he saying? Ahaz was his father. His father, uh, who was an idolatrous worshiper of idols, who had defiled Jerusalem, he says, I don't want to be like my father. I don't want to be paying for the iniquities of my fathers anymore. I'm tired of having to be paid, penalized in the court of heaven by the devil because of the iniquities of my, of my bloodline, of my forefather, what he did. So I want the time to go backwards all the way to the sundial. In other words, erase my father as though he never existed. And that's what exactly what God did. He caused the sun to go backwards and erase the dynasty of his heirs and the influence of that technology over Hezekiah. God says, no, this day, I am doing it for you. These angels are able to move time backwards yes. so they can reverse the iniquities you have fought with for years until now. For you are entering a season of destiny in which you shall see a God who honors his word. A I'll God who that. honors his word. The yeah. Lord says, Let's give him some praise. Come on, give him a shout. Hallelujah. If you have received the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. All right, saints. Let us uh, take your Holy Communion. Take your Holy Communion elements. And uh, I'm going to put a gallery view so I can see you. Uh, let's do our Holy Communion to seal the prophecy that has gone forth today before we close our proceedings. It's been an amazing day in Jesus to be with you guys. You guys are amazing. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now on, um, I know we've, we may have some people who have, who have come to Zoom for your very first time. I see some new faces. You normally we, we, we give you a chance to, uh, to introduce yourself. But don't worry, you get that in the near future. I uh, hope maybe we can do a couple of you next Saturday, same time, where with our first Ask Dr. Miles series that, that our team has put together by the Spirit of God. Amen? So with that being the case, I want you to take your communion before the Lord. Amen? Thank you for your communion before the Lord. Hallelujah. It's our first communion together as FMI. As well, as well as to seal, as well as to seal uh, the miracle of the prophecy uh, that has just released this special company of angels over you and your family and your children. Watch God move in your life. Watch, watch lawsuits you've been waiting on. Get settled with ridiculous sums of money at the at the back end. Get ready. Get ready. That's, just don't be challenging your tithing when that money comes through because these angels are going to bring it. 
are going to bring it. Amen. Promotions that you've never seen at your job where they promote you and add 20% to your current salary. Don't be surprised. It's going to happen quite a bit. Amen. So let's just uh, do the communion. The Bible tells us in, on the night on which Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord and Savior, was betrayed, he took off the bread and he gave thanks. He said, this is my body that has been broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And the Bible says that when supper was ended, he took of the cup, this is the cup of the new covenant in my blood, the blood that has been shed for the remission of the sins of many. And St. Paul tells us, uh, for as long as we do this, we proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. You know, all that he accomplished in his death, we announcing it to the principalities and powers in the heavenly realms. That's how powerful this is. So let's partake of the Holy Communion before the Lord, as we celebrate the arrival of this special company of angels, the angels of speed and mobility and a powerful, wonderful new year. Unmute yourself and give Jesus a shout of praise. Hallelujah. then I said beyond I have come to do your will oh God to fulfill what is written of me what about you when you come before a just judge how much breakthrough deliverance can you get Jesus will never come to the cross to die for your sin he did it already but he rose in his priestly garments as Melchizedek now. His number one assignment is to defend what he died for in the court. We break every chain. We break everything that the enemy has put upon our life. That we will be a people of honor like never before in Jesus' mighty name. The actual sign of Pentecost is the power of authorized utterance at a higher level where your words pierce the hearts of people and they can't shake the impression of what you created. When God is saying, no, I need you to wake up because you're walking in the wrong direction. And if you keep walking in this direction, you're headed for destruction. Everything that Jesus did when he came to this earth and now he's ascended back to the Father and he says, I've given you all authority, I've given you dominion, now begin to act like it. God wants you to know it's not by your might, it's not by your power, but your spirit is going to raise up in you and he's going to take you right through that mountain. No matter what's happened, my God is faithful. No matter what I feel, my God is going to come through. No matter what they say, my God is going to show up. No matter what I think, my God is on time. He's always been on time. He's never early. He's never late. My God is going to show up. 
embraces the divine ability to be and do according to what God called you to. In other words, if God says, be holy as I am holy, grace enables you to be holy. Zandin, beautiful. I mean, mm -hmm. look at the speakers the Lord has given us. Mm -hmm. I mean, Dr. Lance Warnow is in a class all by himself. You can, you, you, that man, you can, I can listen to him for, I can listen to him for days. You know, he can articulate the kingdom of God like nobody else in contemporary terms. You know, Apostle Jeremiah Horsford is, oh my God, you talk about an apostle whose church is having revival miracles. <laughs> And then, of course, we got your one and only Dr. Francis Mars and Camilla, what the word I have for you. Dr. Linda Vega was also was on our board, you know, and works very closely with Pastor Benny Heen and uh, Suzanne Heen, and then the Apostle Jackie Tyre and Apostle Dave Whittington. This is loaded and the worship will be out of this world. And by the way, if you, for the live stream, for live stream and even for uh, those who come to the live one aware as one, we also get a 21-day replay on the live stream. So we, you, it's exclusively to you. So you're going to, if you miss a session or a whatever, for something happened, you can still come back and get the replays of the live stream. And uh, But those who are coming live will get hands laid on you, a real-life mm -hmm. invitation, be part of there, and still get the live stream after the fact. All right. Praise the Lord. Let's do our benediction together now. Amen. Okay. Because we've only got one minute to do a benediction. Other people are going to be jumping on the on this now. Okay. I'm going from one meeting to the next. That's <laughs> my life. I love you guys. But let's, uh, I want you, everybody to unmute yourself and do the benediction with me. Unmute yourself and say this after me. <laughs> By the way, I just want to recognize the, my people from South Africa. Uh, you know, the mayors, I just love you guys. Wow, 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 wow. The mayors from South Africa. I just did a meeting in South Africa in December. It was an impromptu meeting, and 350 South Africans showed up. The place was completely packed. I got to get some. But uh, we are going to be doing something like that in South Africa in April. And in August, I'll be in South Africa. I'll let you know later. By, by Saturday, I'll give you more details on that. But let us just unmute and say this after me. And now, and now, 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 the, now. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the love of God, and the, God, God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with me, be with me, be with me, be with me. All the days of my all life. The all the days, all the days of, my of, my of my life. And I will do, I, I, I surely, and I shall surely, goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy, and mercy, mercy. Now follow me, now follow me, all the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. In the house of the Lord. Somebody shout forever. Forever. Amen. Forever. Wow, wow, wow. Praise you. Praise you. Thank you so much. We'll see you. Now, remember, this video will be cleaned up very quickly. I'm going to be talking to Jerrell. Jerrell is with us. Actually, Jerrell is with us from the Philippines. You know, he's the one who handles the back end, you know, and... Uh, uh, when you see the amazing videos on YouTube that you are enjoying, Jarrell uh, is our post-production, uh, literally is our post-production manager. You know, he manages all the post-production, what you see on YouTube, you know. And so, Jarrell, since you are there, just say hello to the people for 30 seconds, you know. Just say hello to the people. Yes, you hello, know. hello, hello, everyone. I think uh, some of you may probably uh, know me uh, through email. 
um, a Swiss one. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's <laughs> that's Jarrell. Jarrell is is the one. <laughs> that's a young man. Come yeah. on, wake the Lord. Thank God for if you enjoy Facebook, the videos, uh -huh. that's the video guy right there. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.